Hi everyone, we are right in the middle of the festive season and so let's make this delicious quick party recipe an appetizer that I'm sure your guests will love and it's called the paneer pindi. For this we need 500 grams of paneer or cottage cheese which is crushed by hand. Two puff pastry sheets, I'm using the Trader Joe's puff pastry sheets, they are my favorite. Two teaspoons of oil, one small cup of coriander that's freshly chopped. For the spices, we need two green chilies finely chopped, one fourth of a ginger grated, half teaspoon of anchur powder or dry mango powder, half teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of red chili powder. You can put the chilies for your taste and like it. And of course some sauce. Let's start by taking a heated pan and adding in the oil. Next, add the green chilies and the ginger. Give it a good mix. Allow this to cook for about a minute. Also, parallelly, I have the oven turned on at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. So you need to preheat it while we are making this mixture. Next, add in the paneer. Give it a good mix. And now, add all the dry spices together. Blend in the spices. This needs to be very spice forward or flavor intense because as you know, cottage cheese is completely bland and has no flavor. And then so are the puff pastry sheets. So you want to ensure that there is a lot of masala or spices in this to make up for it. Cook this for 4 to 5 minutes, not too much. And then let it sit aside and allow it to cool. Paneer is almost done. And now I will add in the coriander leaves. Blend them in. Oh, I love the fragrance of fresh coriander. Let's turn off the heat and your filling is ready. Keep this aside to cool. Now time to roll the puff pastry sheets. Remember, always take out the puff pastry sheets from your freezer 45 minutes before you are ready to do this. It needs the right kind of thawing so you can make it properly. To start with, take a bowl and then of course, sprinkle some flour. And now let's unroll the puff pastry. Be very gentle. Now gently roll this to flatten the sides and make this slightly longer and thinner. All right, so this sheet is all rolled and now let's add it the paneer. And very evenly, you need to spread it across. It doesn't need to be super loaded, otherwise it'll be difficult rolling this. The paneer is all spread and now we will start rolling this. This needs to be tight. This log is ready. Cut it very gently in the center. You don't want to apply pressure else the shape will go bad. You see that? And now take about half inch spaces and start cutting the pinwheel. Once cut, place all the pinwheels in a baking sheet and ensure that you give enough gap in between. My oven is ready and now I will put this in for not more than 15 minutes. Keep looking. If you see that they are turning too much dark brown, just take them out. 